for students. Well, it's very interesting. Task force of teachers, principals, and parents, and they are revising the student code of conduct this year. One of the focuses is going to be on technology and videotaping fights or arguments at school and then posting the fights online. If students do so this year, they may suffer a stiff penalty. You have an incident like the one in Baldwin, you videotape that and then everyone sees it and they think that's happening in every school and every classroom. That's complete opposite. It's an issue school superintendent Nikolai Vidi says every school district in the nation is dealing with. The abuse of technology to promote violence in class and on the school bus. It's the reason why students could find themselves in trouble just for pressing record. What bothers me as a superintendent, as an educator, and even as a parent is that if a child knows that a fight is about to occur and that they're positioning themselves to videotape that fight and not prevent the fight from happening, there's a level of responsibility and I think repercussions that need to go along with that. The penalty right now for videotaping fights at school in Duval County is unclear, but VD says parents can be assured the district will take action. Also new this school year as part of a $24 million budget boost. Additional security guards at every school and a dean of discipline to handle the punishment. Anytime you're talking about more adults being present and being um, vigilant and, and visible, I think it, we can prevent situations from happening. And Beattie says the additional staff at the schools are going to give staff members the ability to really focus on building relationships with these students so they can find a way to stop a fight or an argument before it even starts.